force their children to make those kinds of value judgments and to assess what's happened, to assess, was this right? Was this wrong? How fair was it? How unfair was it? Who benefited? Who didn't benefit? You know, it forces them to do that. And what that does is exactly as you said, it develops their critical thinking skills. Kids think critically all the time. I love to use it with the girls. You know, what you want to see your way from? I'm going to wear this dress. How do you decide that? Well, I don't like that one. I like this one. I know I'm going to go with this. Well, that's your criteria. This is how you judge what it is you and what your choice was. This is what you do with everything. It's critical thinking. Demystify these crazy words. Critical thinking. Oh my God, that's hard. I don't know how to do that. You do it every day. You decide to eat for lunch. That's critical thinking. Now let's just take it and apply it to a different situation. Put it in another context. That's what culturally responsive teachers do by understanding and knowing the students. When you know their lived experiences, then you can take those lived experiences, connect them to the objectives and the, and the uh, connect them to the objectives and the indicators that you're trying to teach, and then the learning becomes real and becomes something that's a part of the student. But it's, it takes skill and it takes practice. <laughs> We're practitioners. We don't get this right on the first go around. You may try this lesson and it just sucks. Nobody gets it. They hate you. They leave the room before the bell they're trying to get out of it. This is crazy. But you practice. And you get it wrong, and then sometimes you have that magic day where it just clicks. And it's just a beautiful thing.